it's me. I feel particularly splendid today. I do. Now, today, ladies and gentlemen, I, I finished my first novel. It's taken me a long time to read a book, but there you go. <laughs> Try I've just come back from Australia, and uh, it's a good place. It's an extraordinary country. I'm amazed that Australians make it to adulthood at all. <laughs> The place is fraught with danger. You've never seen any of this. The day I arrived, a crocodile ate a woman. I was, you know, you're watching the news, you're used to like Beirut and all that. You know, or night strikes and elections and things, but nobody gets eaten by crocodiles here. It says, a woman was eaten by a crocodile today. <laughs> I was on holiday before I started working there. And I was sunbathing. I was on the balcony of this house. I don't go to the beach for a few weeks because I'm a Scottish person. And <laughs> I tend to frighten people on the beach because being Scottish, I'm pale blue. <laughs> it takes me a week to get white, you know. I was on this veranda and I heard, oh, I thought Japanese, change their mind. <laughs> They've got plans for you, those bastards. Ten years' time, you've walked along the road with your sonny Walkman and the cable will tighten. <laughs> They're building a holiday camp in Queensland in Australia. Holiday camp. <laughs> it's, a, it's a strange... But the, 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 there wasn't a Japanese at all. It was a shark warning. And the people were still swimming. Australians are strange, you know. It's huge beasts walking about like that. They're giving it... Swim, swim. They seem to work on the basis that sharks eat one person at a time, you see. I'm going, get out of the water! Get your side of your fishes get behind you! They're saying, what's with the blue prick in the veranda? <laughs> if I was it, I'd be going through that water like a Polaris missile! <laughs> throwing children behind me! <laughs> I went to the, it's funny, you know in Australia, the suntan oils in numbers, from 1 to 14, you know, depending how fair skin, I was number 26. <laughs> the woman says, that's a bandage. <laughs> she says, you'd be better with a boiler suit and a balaclava. I said, what's a <laughs> You see, things used to be quite simple. Like buying a shampoo. Do you remember you used to be able to go into a shop? Excuse me, can I have a shampoo? And the person would give you one. Thank you very much. <laughs> you go to Boots the Chemist, there's about five lanes of shampoo. Six deep. All different colours, things you never heard of in your life. Jojoba. See, in Glasgow, that's the month before November. <laughs> I says, what's Jacoba all of a sudden? She says, it's a Mexican bean. I thought, oh, great. You'll have farting hair. Henna, henara, avocado and walnut, <laughs> egg and mushroom shampoo. <laughs> Come at that. When I was a boy, that would have been straight into the frying pan. <laughs> egg and mushroom, that'll do me. <laughs> Where's my shampoo, by the way? <laughs> Say your father's away to work with it on his sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> and the women who work there, Jesus, they're so smug, you know. Oh, sir, it's a bit. Where did you last buy a shampoo? It's much, it's much more complex than that. 
Is there what's so complex about it? Well, sir, it's... F for instance, what kind of hair is it for? I say, pubic hair. <laughs> so you find that in your fancy labels, you bastard. <laughs> it might be under short and curly. <laughs> They don't like, you see, pubic hair is one of people don't like you to talk about pubic hair. Now, talking about your willy is becoming socially acceptable. You can say it on talk shows now and everybody, <laughs> willy, ha, <laughs> I said willy, I think I'll say it too, willy, 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 willy. Now, now, I was talking about the pubic hair, see, pubic hair is fascinating stuff. Mine, mine is particularly fascinating because it's going grey. And every day's a wee adventure, you know. You know, it's getting really distinguished. In a certain light now, you would swear my willy was Stuart Granger. <laughs> distinguished, you know. It's, and I've, I've got to really kind of like it. It's, it's, it's very pleasant, I find, pubic hair. And, it's, and isn't it extraordinary? Your pubic hair is always shiny and full of life. It's zing, ping, ding, ding. It's, it's always in great conditions. It's never sort of dull and lifeless, you know. And you wouldn't squander your conditioner on it, would you? You give it a quick rub with the old soap and it shh, that'll do you. It's not cheap, this stuff. So, shiny, life, ping, ping. There's a lesson for us all there. Don't squander your money in hair conditioners. Wear underpants on your head. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I think it's fabulous. Oh, I'm all for it. I don't mind it going grey, but I thought, oh, Jesus, it doesn't go bald. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awful if it receded and it all went away? <laughs> the wee willy like a southern fried chicken. <laughs> I couldn't bear that to be an old man lying in my bed with his wee bald willy <laughs> lying on my thigh like the last chicken in the supermarket, you know <laughs> the one everybody picked up and squeezed and threw back <laughs> but it's a fascinating subject do you know what's always intrigued me? the way pubic hair only grows to a certain length and then stops how does it know? <laughs> it's one of the great unanswered questions. <laughs> Same as how does the guy who drives a snowplow get to his work in the morning? You know? <laughs> These are the things that keep me awake. I think it would be brilliant, you know, if your pubic hair just kept going. <laughs> right out the legs of your trousers. <laughs> be fab and groovy. It'd be brilliant with those big hairy apres ski boots, you know. <laughs> and you can brush it, you can, you can brush it. A hundred strokes a night. <laughs> Three, four. It could be great, big swooping mass. You could bite comb it. <laughs> Heavy metal pubic hair. Your willy would look like Robert Plant. You could do all sorts of things. Punks could put lacquer on it and have huge Mohicans. <laughs> Country and Western singers could plait it. <laughs> Willie Nelson. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting the hell off here. Thanks very much for listening to me. Good night. Thank you very much indeed.